What you're currently looking at is an island. An island that belongs to a country that you did not think actually has an island. Hello and welcome to India, specifically the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. What's interesting about these islands is that it's actually based just off the coast of Malaysia and Thailand and it's also home to Aboriginal tribes but what's even more interesting about this island is that it was used by the British colonial rule as an exile island. You can see just in the distance over there, over there. <laughs> there's actually a prison so we're gonna go out and check what this island's about. Now the city that we actually located in is called Port Blair on one of the Andaman Islands and what's even more fascinating about this island is that it was actually taken over by the Japanese during World War II. Now when the Japanese surrendered, was this land actually one of the first pieces of India to gain its independence? Now in order to get to the prison we need to take a tuk-tuk. So I hope we can find one. <laughs> Generally we actually use an app but here on this island a tourist cannot get a SIM card which is a problem. <laughs> tuk-tuk! Oh no, they got people. We thought that we would be able to get a SIM card in the airport, but we didn't find anything there. There's nothing in the shops around. So once we leave our hotel, we're kind of stranded. <laughs> so if you are coming here, I highly suggest maybe getting a SIM card in India before coming here. So welcome to India. Um, <laughs> do we just wait here or do we start walking? I think we start walking. I think we'll start walking down as that's kind of the best option otherwise we're gonna wait forever for a tuk-tuk exactly. <laughs> but I love that even though you're in one of the main cities here on this island you still get those island vibes yeah I still cannot believe that India actually has an island off the coast of Malaysia I mean I never thought that India had an island so thanks to you guys for recommending this place in the comments below we're on an island in India <laughs> But this is kind of what it looks like here on the island. Most of the houses are like two or three stories. Almost similar to Nepal actually. Well, they've got some nice paved roads. And all the houses are beautiful. they all got these different colours. I check, it's green, red. This one's purple. Tuk Tuk. Oh, yes. <laughs> Namaste. How much to cellular jail? Cellular jail? Uh, Kitna. Sergeant 50. 50. Okay, thank you. And we found ourselves a tuk tuk. At least we don't have to walk the whole way there. It was about a half an hour walk. <laughs> but this way we can see the streets of Port Blair here in the Andaman Islands. There's more colorful houses. That one's yellow. Uh, there's some shops over there most of it is houses hey there's a little shop too yeah you can see there's hotels there's actually plenty of hotels on this island but it definitely has some island vibe feels because there's like chickens and cows on the road i'm sure we're going to see a cow today but it really is like a proper island over here is the port down there is ross island and then down there is North Bay Island. But it's so clean on this port and such beautiful walkways. And over there is the prison. Ah, cute little roundabout. I love India. There's a map of India <laughs> with the Andaman Islands included. <laughs> there, the blue is the Andaman Island, I think. <laughs> There's people cleaning the side of the roads. Check, yeah, they're even cleaning as well. Something that we didn't really see in India, but we're seeing here in Port Blair. What's your name? Your name? Your name? My name? Your name, name? Deepal. Deepal. Nice to meet you, Deepal. You from Andaman? I'm not right. Ah, okay. <laughs> so here we are, a little bit in the city. We'll go explore the city after the jail. And we're also going to try some snacks that are available here and see what we can find to eat. Cellular jail, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful this building is. Danyavad. 
You have change? Change? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, hey. I'm touching something that is 200 years old. Maybe. I'm sure you are. So this cellular jail was actually completed in 1906. So the state that we're seeing it is almost over a hundred years old, or it is over a hundred years old. So this brick is probably over a hundred years old. It probably is. Little piece of history here on the Andaman. Hello, how are you? Fine. I'm good, good. Um, I would like two tickets, please, for cellular jail. 200. 200, hey? Thank you. You have guide? Main entrance, main gate. Main entrance, main gate, hey? Thank you. Okay, thank Bye. you. Which way I walk? That way. Thank you. <laughs> oh. 200 Indian rupee for a foreign tourist to come here to the cellular jail. Now that's affordable. <laughs> Compared to the stuff that we paid in India, it yeah. was like 600 per person. And yeah, we paid 100 per person. To be honest, the only other tourists that I've seen around here are Indian tourists. So. I feel like we're the only Westerners on this island. True. And here we are, the main entrance to the cellular jail. Welcome. <laughs> Namaste. Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I just tore the ticket just to show that we have entered. Um, we have a guide. Um, is there a guide? No, no English guide. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think I've done my research, so oh. we're going to try and understand this and I'm going to try and just navigate myself around this prison, but yeah. I'm excited to see what it's about. Yeah, we did a little bit of history, but immediately our first steps in here, I'm a, wow. wow. <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm seeing that. Like, there's even like burning flames here. That is so cool, but look at this. I know it's probably not a beautiful place of what you should be coming to look at it for because of all the trauma that has gone on in these walls, but this is, this is wow. So just to give you a little bit more context of why this prison was built. So even though it was completed in the early 1900s, the British had been using the Andaman and Nicobar Islands as an exile prison since like the mid 1800s. And they used it as an exile island for all the freedom fighters in India and they would exile them here so that they wouldn't reoffend. But then when the movement gained more power in the late 1800s, they felt that the intended purpose of exiling these prisoners wasn't achieved so they felt that more harsher conditions were needed and that is why they built the prison look at the architecture look at the you know like the statues and stuff around i think this is kind of like a maybe a memorial it's all written in hindi i can presume i mean here is another monument all made out of white marble absolutely incredible so you can see here the structure of the cellular jail. Behind me there's actually a tower in the center and then it had seven wings that were going off the center of the tower and each wing was made up of like three floors and the idea around this was that you had one tower with one guard that could keep watch of all the prisoners around and the prisoners wouldn't actually know if they're being watched or not so it's kind of designed in a spoke of like a bicycle wheel if you could say because if you're looking from there if the guard was standing right over there the prisoners were not able to see him neither through these small little windows chief those windows are small or even from the corridors of the jails and stuff like that so they were not able to see the guard at all i'm hoping that we're actually going to be able to go a little bit into the cells and see some of the cells but I'm highly impressed. This is a beautiful prison. It is so well maintained after all of these years and surviving the World War II and Japanese takeover, surviving earthquakes, like it's still standing. So this is one of the jail cells that one of the prisoners would have been in. 
and they were in their own separate cells. I think there are 696 cells within this whole uh, prison complex. And the point was to be completely isolated. So there would only be one prisoner in each cell. We can't exactly go in. Do you think we can open this? Oh, we... Do you think we can go in? I'm sure we can. There's no sign saying that you can't. Look how small this is. Like if you have to spread your hands, spread your arms, you can almost touch the size of the walls. That's how small it is. And if you look, they weren't even able to see outside that window. And if you stand over here, like if I have to have this thing closed, I can't see any other prisoner. And the windows over there are so small that I could barely see a prisoner too. Wow. This is very small, hey? Yeah, so you were like completely isolated as a prisoner. You couldn't speak to anyone. And another mind game that they used to play on the prisoners is if you go outside, they actually used to lock these cells and chuck the keys in because the locks were over here. And you'd see you can't actually reach that. So you were kind of teased by being given the keys, but you can't reach your freedom. Here's the lock. So you can see if you close that, See, there. so then they will close it like that, put the lock here, and then you've got this brick in the way so that when this thing's closed, this thing would actually go straight through there. So they weren't able to reach the lock, like what Leanne's was he doing. So they gave the prisoners the keys. Sure, really harsh. It's a mental game. And you can see here is probably where they gave the food. It's a little bit rusted as it's very, very old and we buy the ocean, but I think. This thing was able to slide into the wall and then they were able to give people food. I mean, every single jail has got the same locking system with the same food hole. Another locking system. There's so many and the prisoners actually built all of this. They were the ones that were used as the slaves. Yeah, they were gang chained, so like they were like chained to each other. And then they actually built the prison, all the harbours, all the infrastructure that you actually see on Port Blair, where the British actually used to live. The prison is actually almost built like a, like a fort. If you see the walls there, almost looks like a fort and even that there. Another interesting thing about this island is that it was only inhabited by the prisoners, but it was also inhabited by the Aboriginal tribes that are on this island. So the prisoners never left a certain area because these tribes are quite aggressive and like true to their land. So they would actually kill you if you came close to them. So they just kind of stayed away from the British, stayed away from the prisoners, and the prisoners would not dare to go into the jungles of the island. And what's even crazier to think is that once the Japanese actually took control of this um, island, the wardens were actually imprisoned in here as prisoners of war once the Japanese came, gained control. So how's that for a turn of events? So we're actually gonna try and go up to the tower to see what it was like with the guards. Namaste. Uh, we can go up the tower? Oh, uh, this uh, way? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, bud. We suffer... suffer hard, Sal. Hmm. I think... I think he was an Indian freedom fighter. We don't know all the freedom fighters and we don't know that much history about it. We're just trying to give you guys an understanding of this prison. So you can see there's a long aisle of cells down there as well. And I think this way is towards where the guards are. Yeah, I think the guard was right on top over here. Oh, there they're busy fixing. You can see that they're busy restoring it. Absolutely love how immaculate this place is. So I think this was actually the watchtower where the guards were. And they were able to keep watch over all of the wings. There's a wing over here. And there's two wings on this side but there actually used to be seven wings of this prison but they actually demolished four in order to build a hospital so over here you can see a hospital where all of the old wings used to go and the reason they kept three wings is because the freedom fighters were actually upset that they were demolishing the prison because it was tangible evidence of what they had been through and so they've made it now into a monument over here you can actually see the old walls these ones have been renovated and cleaned and restored but over there is the original original walls 
So the guard has told us there's the cell of one of the freedom fighters, a very popular freedom fighter. I think there were many in here as there's 696 cells, right? So I think we're going to go and just look at the one that is the most popular. Sorry, we don't know their names. We don't know the history that much and we thought we would have had a guide going around here. So we're just doing our best to show you from our understanding. Yeah, they didn't have any English guides. They only have Hindi guides. So this is what it's like to walk in the corridors of a prison that is 120 years old. So I think that's his cell right there. It's even got a cage around it. Hi, morning. Hi, this Veer Savar car cell, hey? Is this one here? Thank you. Oh, this one they've really turned into like a museum. Okay, no problem. So this is how it would look when the prisoners were here? Oh, okay. I would assume this is how it would look. They would have their bed and then... Okay, so that's their bed and their plates and stuff like that. So this is how the cell looked like back then, hey? Yes, sir. Wow. Not much, very little, hey? Very little. All, All of them look like this, hey? Very little. How long was he in prison for? It is 1911 to 1921. 10 years. Sure. 10 years imprisonment, hey? Wow. You can actually see by this photo over here that I think they were still chained up while they were in the cell. Check, they chained their ankles to the waist, so they weren't able to run very fast. But this is their beds. It's kind of hard. It's like just a piece of wood and a pillow just used to be a blanket. Well, that was a blanket and they had no pillow. Crazy, so small. I can imagine it was so hot in here in the summers and so cold in the winters. But it is the Andaman, so they only have dry and wet season. So it's kind of just a lot of rain or very little rain. Temperatures kind of stay constant. Yeah, but well. So there he died in 1966. That was basically like 45 years after imprisonment. Very nice. Daniel Vard, hey? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So over here is probably one of the worst things about this place and it's this room where they used to hang people oh my goodness so it looks like they would actually hang the person here and they would stand on that, that white line or the white circle and then the floor would collapse and then they would hang the scary thing about this is that there's actually no records of how many people were actually hung here Down here. Oh no, is this where the people's legs like hung? I think so. Oh my gosh. So here is once the floorboard actually dropped. Is where their feet were. Uh, so yeah, once this floor actually dropped, then they'll just be hanging here and I'm sure that's where they'll take them down and they'll put them here. I don't know exactly where they took the bodies after this, but it's believed that they actually just threw them in the sea and let them just get eaten by sharks and stuff like that. Not a very nice place to stand in, to be honest. Very weird to be standing inside there, to be honest. Not such a nice feeling. No, not a nice feeling at all. But I'm glad that it's all preserved so that we can learn about the history of this place. Yeah. All right now, our stomachs are a little bit hungry. Yep. So I think we're gonna head into the town and actually see a little bit of what the town here looks like in Port Blair and on the Andaman Islands. And go and look for some yummy snacks. Yes. But I hope that we've done justice to this place and showing you around cellular jail. So if you do like it, give it a thumbs up. Yeah, <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> so here we are in the streets of Port Blair. One thing I noticed is his little traffic posts they don't have any traffic lights as you can see so sometimes they actually have a policeman standing in there Woo. <laughs> in order to direct traffic 
It is a little bit busy on this island. You can still feel it's like India. <laughs> Noises all around you. Are you okay back there, sweetie? I'm all good, thank you. <laughs> but this is the streets of Port Blair. There in front we have the Aberdeen Tower, which is like the center of <laughs> Port Blair. So we're gonna walk there, check around and see if we can find something to eat. Looking for something sweet, particularly. Check the side of the roads, they're clean. The roads are clean. There's not really any walkways, but everything's so nice and clean. That's a complete opposite though of what we saw when we first arrived here. So we arrived on a Sunday and we were trying to look for a SIM card and none of these shops were open. And now because it's a weekday, everything's just in the hustle and bustle of life. <laughs> it's like a milli deli. It is, eh? <laughs> Especially with the hooting. <laughs> One thing that stays true to India is you always hoot. <laughs> uh, here we are at the Aberdeen Tower. That's in memory of the victory of the prisoners, to my understanding. And so, uh, let's see. Wow, the clock's actually still working. That's amazing. <laughs> So this tower is actually over a hundred years old. And I would assume that this tower is the central point of Port Blair. So we're in the center of this little city. Oh my word, look at this taxi. Oh my gosh, look how old this taxi is. Sheesh, needs a little bit of some fixing. <laughs> we're gonna walk a little bit more into town just to get a complete sense of this place. And look for some food. Yeah. We want some sweets, I feel like uh, something sweet. Something sweet. Super busy here. Hello, hello. <laughs> People are actually quite friendly here. Oh, what's this? Oh, you wanna go inside there? Yeah, that place got sweets. What's it called? Tiller's Bakery and Sweets, exactly what I was looking for. Ooh. Yeah, they have some Indian snacks. We got some donuts. It almost looks like gulab juman. Oh, that looks amazing. Cakes. Oh, yummy. Let's go see what else they have. Oh, there the electricity just went off and then it's come back on. Oh, yummy. Look how much sweets they have. Jeez, they got so many delicious things. And I'm sure a lot of it is made with coconut. Wow. Namaste. Uh, which one's the best? Which one's best tasting? This one. Which one? This one here? Yeah, is that green. one best tasting? What is that? Kaju pista roll. Kaju pista roll. Okay. Okay, can I get one, please? <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> and what's second best? This one. Which one? one? That one. Okay. Give, give me one of those two. <laughs> I'm going on the recommendations of the people that work here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay, you what's third best? <laughs> what's, your the, what's your favorite? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I think let's pick something else. English is a little bit of a barrier, yeah? So I think let's look for something that has got the least, because that means that's the one that's eaten the most, right? This one. You want that one? Yeah. Okay. Let's try this one. <laughs> this is a Malai Gulab Juman. Can I get Malai Gulab Juman? Thank you. Just one. Alright, I think we have our sweets. I don't know the names of all of these. Thank you so much. Andra Andra Bapti. Andra Fig. Andra Fig. Andra Fig. Andra Fig. Andra Fig. Alright, you got a kit now? Seventy. Seventy. Yes. I'll pay that side. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so they have a separate cash counter. Hello. Seventy. <laughs> Have you got our snacks? I got our snacks. Our sweeties. <laughs> Danya Vod. Thank you. Alright, so we've got our sweeties. Where do you want to eat it? Right here, I guess. I guess so. 
Okay, I'll hold this one. <laughs> Excuse me for not knowing the names of these snacks, but we're gonna give them a try anyway. This one's almost got like a silver leaf on the top, if you can see, and it's got some green inside. I don't know what this is, but I'm sure it's gonna be good. Oh, that is really good. It almost tastes like condensed milk. Oh, wow. That's very sweet and very nice. Mmm. Mm. Indian sweets are the absolute best. <laughs> They've always got so much flavor. The closest thing I can put this to is a condensed milk. Mm. Mm. So good. Okay, let me try the next one. What's this one? It's something fig. We'll write it on the screen, to be honest. This might have fig in it. Mmm. Mm. This one's nutty and crunchy. Mm. 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 It's got coconut inside there too. Mm. It's like a coconut, nutty, fig, cookie. Mm. It's delicious. It's so good. <laughs> and the last one on the list. Gulab Juman. <laughs> it's like a Gulab Juman. What's the ones that they put with cream inside? I don't know, but I think... Like an eclair. It looks like a Gulab mm. Juman eclair, right? But I think it was called a... My gulab juman. Yeah, I'm Malai, yeah. Malai, there we go. Okay, you taste this one, baby. No, go for it. You okay. love gulab juman, so oh. enjoy. Can you take the paper, please? Thank there you. you <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so fat if I lived in India, to be honest. <laughs> Eating all of these sweets. <laughs> yeah. But I must say, I'm not normally a sweet person, but because you've been eating so much spicy food lately, I've really been craving sweets and I think it's because of all the spices so I think that's why it's so popular here in India yeah is to like um, give the opposite to all the food because you need that oh, yeah. that difference that's good hey the syrup is just oozing out of there so yummy it's almost oh. like a cook sister in South Africa mm. <laughs> delicious with some coconuts and cream so good to be honest the lunches that we have been here been having here because we've been here for like three days already and just catching up on work the food that we've had here on the Andaman Islands has honestly been like one of the best foods we've had in India so much more flavorable so tasty and massive portions it's, it's amazing I think there's a good mixture of all of India here on these islands yeah <laughs> I'm all sweetened out okay. <laughs> are you all sweetened out I need some cold drink now okay mm. <laughs> what is this this is a thumbs up. And what a limka. And the man drink, eh? <laughs> Do you want a thumbs up and a limka? Limka. 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 Is like Sprite? 40 rupees. 40 rupees, okay. <laughs> Both 40 rupees or 20, 20? 40, 40, 80. 40, 40, 80. <laughs> is it like 7 up? 7 up or 50. Se Seven up and Pepsi basically. Okay, okay yeah, let me pay for Thank it. You. <laughs> Why are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Has I open yours for you? No, you can have yours. Laminka. Lim Limka. Limka. Oh, that's actually really refreshing. It's lemonade, almost like a lemony Sprite, I would say, or a lemony 7-Up. So but does it taste good. like Mountain Dew or something? Mm. That lemon flavor is actually really refreshing. Yeah, it's supposed to be, it's lemon. Super good. <laughs> this is really nice. So we're going to be buying more Limkas here in the Andamans. It's so refreshing. <laughs> Alright, let me taste mine. My thumbs up. Ah. There we go. Thumbs up. Penny, this is supposed to taste like Pepsi. Oh, oh, oh. oh. okay. <laughs> so let's see. Mm. It tastes like a very sugary Pepsi. Oh, really? Yeah. I think you might like this one more. Mmm. Mmm. It almost tastes like those. Uh, I don't know, like a cola or like a rip-off of yeah. Pepsi or whatever, but it's still good. 
it definitely tastes like a ripple from the flavors but it does have its own unique flavor to be honest <laughs> so good so i give it a thumbs up yeah oh welcome to india <laughs> Oh, it's chaos. It is chaos, but I give the thumbs up a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and I give the Lumka a uh, Lumka. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> or a thumbs up. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> but that is our time exploring Cellular Jail and a little bit of Port oh. Blair. Mm. We're going to do some island hopping in our next few videos, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Yeah, we're going to go and explore an island that was invaded by the Japanese during World War II. So see you then. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on the rest of our Animan adventures. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs>